You want me to put that on my todger? Exclusive. Wooten. Cash for Sussex Stories. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. The Byline Times has been undertaking an investigation into Dan Wooten, who has been very firmly in their sights. However, this has also branched out the suggestions of misconduct in relation to the Sussexes. Is this simply a collateral consequence of their desire to investigate the behaviours of Don Wooten, a prominent critic of Harry and this one's wife, or is something else at work? Is this a further attempt to discredit individuals for the purposes of verifying the claims that were made by Harry and this one's wife? Is it a further attempt to rehabilitate their image by saying we were right to complain about being victimised? Look, this information has come to light. There were people briefing against us. The king unleashed an, an onslaught. Dan Wooten was organising for information about us to be leaked and for them to be published in the press against us. Our concerns were eminently justified. You ought to have believed us. Is this accurate? Is it true? Well, you can make your own mind up about it. What I do is provide you with this information which has come to light to look at it through the prism of the narcissists involved. It's the friendship, Prince William's former right-hand man Simon Case concluded, simply didn't exist. And yet, here are one-time Royal Press Secretary Christian Jones and his publicist partner huddling together for an intimate celebratory photograph with Cash for Leaks journalist Dan Wooten, the Byline Times reports. The occasion was Wooten's 35th birthday party in March 2018. The location was the private terrace of a £1,675 a night suite at London's exclusive hotel, The Ned. The guests were... 20 incredible friends, in Wooten's own words, hand-picked to enjoy his extensive largesse. The issue is that it was a friendship that when legal documents later named Christian Jones, he flatly denied. None of which could have seemed possible as Jones and his partner toasted the birthday boy. Just a few days from winning a, show, a third British Press Award for Showbiz Reporter of the Year, and five years before he was unmasked as a serial catfish targeting young celebrities and colleagues for sexual images. With champagne among the potted peonies and Carrara marble tables on the 35 metre square entertaining terrace of a hotel suite complete with a mahogany four poster bed and roll top bathtub. One of the party's attendees told Byline Times that there was no expense spared and everyone was invited and they were part of Dan's special group of mates. Dan hired a private dining room and laid on a set menu with three options for each course, they said. It was champagne and cocktails and whatever you wanted from the menu. Just 28 and then a few more turned up to celebrate with Dan upstairs on his terrace before heading on to a club in Shoreditch. It was lavish. There was no expense spared. Everyone invited was part of Dan's special group of mates. Dan paid for everything. This apparent closeness, as illustrated by the photo Wooten uploaded to Instagram and captioned with three red hearts on the 11th of March 2018, presented a problem, however, for Jones and his long-term publicist partner. For... After Jones took the job of Deputy Communications Secretary to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge in December 2018, Wooten paid the publicist for stories which, according to a whistleblower account, led to a secretive internal investigation at the Sun newspaper which feared being sucked into a leaks scandal just a few years after some of its journalists were prosecuted over payments to public officials. The Sun has never confirmed anything on the record. But Byline Investigates, the sister website to Byline Times, revealed in June 2020 how lawyers for the Duke of Sussex, armed with credible but anonymously supplied information, apparently originating from inside the Sun's publisher News UK, were threatening to sue the tabloid over the publication of stories written by Wooten and negatively spun against the Sussexes. They were headlined Nanny Mc3 
and Tot Secret. They were published in June and July 2019 and centred on nannying and godparenting arrangements for the Sussex's son, Archie. Payments of £4,000 had been made to the publicist in August 2019 and were identified by way of an internal News UK accounting code. The matter had been referred to both Buckingham Palace and Britain's then top anti-terrorism police officer, Scotland Yard's Neil Basu, for investigation. Basu's job was to try to establish whether there was any case for a criminal prosecution for misconduct in public office. The crime, for which nine police officers were convicted, based on evidence handed over by the Murdoch Media Empire to Scotland Yard's 2016 Operation Elverdon for accepting money from journalists for information. After the Metropolitan Police failed to obtain the full identity of the whistleblowing Sun Insiders, which it required to obtain a warrant to search royal property, Simon Case, the then Private Secretary to Prince William, was tasked to investigate from within Kensington Palace, where Jones was employed. Byline Times, through a number of sources close to the matter, has been able to establish some details of the investigation and the processes that ultimately cleared Christian Jones of wrongdoing. Both he and his partner insist the allegations that Wooten paid for private information about the Sussexes are incorrect. But this newspaper can reveal that although when formally questioned by Case, who is today the head of the British Civil Service and facing tough questions at the Covid inquiry over the quality of decision making during the pandemic, Jones admitted to knowing Wooten and dealing with him on a professional basis. He strongly denied that either he or his partner were close friends with the journalist. Quite a long and involved process resulted from Prince Harry's lawyers sending a letter before action to the Sun, one source said. Of course, Christian had to be questioned by his bosses about it. He said that, yes, he had known Dan for a while, but he did not know him very well, and that Prince William's courtiers who appointed him didn't have a problem with it. Christian also told them that his partner had indeed been paid by the Sun at the time stated in the whistleblower's emails and for the amounts described, but that the money related to stories about clients his partner represented in their work as a publicist and was nothing to do with Prince Harry and this one's wife. One of his partner's clients supposedly had the same name as the Duchess of Sussex. There was the suggestion that this was the reason for some of the money being paid and at the time it was just a fluke. On that basis, Christian faced no further action. He retained the confidence of Kensington Palace and later on had a couple of big promotions. Byline Times has learned that Jones's position was that the allegations against him ought not to have been made at all on the basis of anonymous accusations, albeit they contained many correct details, including the internal News UK code, which warranted a legitimate case for further investigation. Kensington Palace is understood to have sought to draw a line under the matter unless compelling new evidence emerged. Alongside Wooten's birthday Instagram photo, this newspaper has spoken to multiple other witnesses who say that Wooten tried to cultivate a friendship between the three. What do you think of all of this? Do you think that this is a further attempt by this one's wife and Harry to make themselves look good and play victim once again, something that's typical of the narcissist, or is this information validating them? Is it validating their decisions that they maintain that they were being briefed against and that stories were being leaked, as has been suggested by this paper? Let me know your comments. Let me know your thoughts, rather, in the comments section. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.